Now we can do polynomial interpolation of any order, um, but we're going to start out simple. So, so we could have polynomial interpolation. We would have linear. I, I guess before even we get to linear, right? Um, we could have constant, linear, uh, quadratic, cubic quartic, quintic, all the way up to n. And so then this is going to be, this we'll call f. The, the function, the approximating function, we'll call here f1 of x, uh, f2 of x for quadratic, uh, f3 of x, so and so forth. Uh, this I guess we could call this f0 of x, but, but we're not, it's just too simple, so we're not even going to go there. Um, but let's go ahead and, and start out then with uh, with linear interpolation, and and then maybe we'll generalize that to quadratic and cubic interpolation. Uh, but to start out with, uh, let's uh, let's plot this out. So hey, here's an axis. All right, and so then let's let's put a function on here, and so let's say, uh, or not a function, but a couple of points. So let's put one point here and one point here and draw a straight line between those points okay so we're just given the points and we want to be able to figure out really the equation of that line but of course I'm drawing these dotted lines out beyond because we're not going to we're not going to have confidence in anything beyond just what's in between the two two endpoints as I mentioned and and so then we have this point is x naught this point is x1 and then uh, x will pick an arbitrary point in the middle and we'll call or somewhere in between and we call that x. Now uh, we could uh, one easy way to derive this uh, is to just go ahead and draw out uh, where these cross the axis so let's draw this out so that would be uh, So we can draw one triangle here. So this is going to be a triangle, and we could draw another triangle here. Okay, and so where this distance you could see that distance is x minus x naught, and then this other distance that's going to be that entire distance here. That distance is going to be uh, x one minus x naught. Uh, this distance here, right, because that's f of x, this is going to be, the height of that is going to be f of x1. Uh, so then, and then the height of this will be f of x0, right, so that will be then f of x1 minus f of x0. That will be that height there. And then similarly, we could have this height here and I'll just draw a line to that height there, that will be f of x minus f of x naught. Okay, there we go. And so what we've actually done here is we've set up two similar triangles. You can see here the first triangle is this triangle here, this smaller triangle here. That's the first triangle, so it's got the side lengths x minus x naught and f of x minus f of x naught. Those are the those are the high, the the sides of that triangle, and then we have the second triangle in here, and that is uh, this other triangle behind it, and that triangle here, and and it goes over the it goes all the way through. There's that whole triangle, and then that has sides of f of x f of x one minus f of x naught and and uh, length x1 minus x0. So we can just set up an equation of, of similar triangles here. So uh, that just is f uh, of, and, and we'll do the y's on top. This, so this to, to this is equal to this to this. So, so the um, f of x1 minus f of x0 uh, over uh, x1 minus x0 equals uh, x minus, or excuse me, 
f, and I'm going to put f1 here because it's going to be the first order, f1, f1 of x minus uh, f of x naught divided by uh, x minus x naught. Okay, so this is the equation that we have here, and we can just rearrange that. We'll uh, uh, we'll go ahead and multiply this uh, this term through. So we'll multiply this on this side, and then we can subtract this over. So that would give us well, we, we want our our f1 here. So actually, we'll multiply this term through and subtract that term over. So then we'll have f1 of x is equal to, uh, okay, so we're going to multiply this one over, so this, so this is all going to be the same, f of x1 minus f of x0 divided by x1 minus x, oh, moving around here, x1 minus x0 all time multiplied by this is the term we've multiplied over, x minus x naught. And then uh, the other thing we had to do is, is subtract this, uh, or add this minus f of, f of x naught to the other side, uh, both sides, so we could move that over. So then and that'll be plus f of x naught. Okay, so that's the equation that we come up with here. And uh, what we have to do next is, um, well, that's it. Uh, that's that's our equation, and but that's for the linear case. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to generalize this to uh, to higher to to quadratic, cubic, and other dimensions.